Well, you know, it's it's kind of an interesting situation, well, because uh, if you if you sort of recall what we have lived for the last six months is that the equity market has actually gone ahead of the economic data. And it seems to me that I will be seeing the reverse effect where, you know, the price inflation that we saw in equities, particularly in tech, you know, for the last, you know, year and a half is now catching up with some of the strong, still the very strong economic data, but, you know, with a lot of noise now coming up with the pre inflation numbers we have. The reality is that, you know, we still just one data point on inflation to see, and we'll see how this unfolds later on. And I think the bigger question to me will be how much of this data will the Fed take into consideration for future policy changes? So, what do you do given, given that explanation of the backdrop, Omar? Well, I think, you know, we still have, you know, a significant amount of imbalance between supply and demand. You still have a significant amount of, of issues that we have between the labor market and, again, just the last data point and what the dynamics are in the labor mar market is still with the prospect that we still have a significant amount of liquidity through the fiscal stimulus that is distorting this data. Again, we have never been as in a situation where the economic recovery has been as quick as we have seen, and yet the pricing power of the market has been way ahead of it. So I think these corrections, you know, while there may be the excuse of inflation and tomorrow may be the excuse of another, you know, soft data point, it is just a way for that gap between the prices and the economic data to just get a little closer. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.